this is either going to be um, really awesome or, or not very much at all. I got this box from UPS today and supposedly this is going to be a full day early because I don't know why. This is not supposed to arrive until tomorrow, but it is indeed Final Fantasy Explorers. And I'm actually really excited about this. Monster Hunter is one of my most played games in the last several years. I put, hmm, like 700 hours, maybe only 600 hours into the uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I put about 700 hours already into 4 Ultimate. And I really like that style of game. It, it's it's good challenge, it's co-op, and whatever. So, uh, Final Fantasy uh, Explorers, I am told, is like Monster Hunter, but... Oh, there's some, some splooge on here. Lame. Like some hot glue. Um, but with Final Fantasy characters, and I like I like the idea of Final Fantasy a lot more than I like Final Fantasy, I think. Uh, Curtain Call is actually my favorite Final Fantasy game. Um, and this is a weird bottom. I want to say it opens like this? No, no, it doesn't. This, this box is very hard cardboard. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, look at how thick. Look at how thick that packing stuff is. So what have we got in here? Which I will hide like this. Um, Final Fantasy Explorers art book. Uh, kinda, kinda thin. But, um, but it's kinda cool. One of the sad things about these is, you know, these, these images are all going to be on the internet. You can get JPEGs there, and it'll, it'll be so much bigger on your screen. But having these is really cool. Uh, here you have the two protagonists. Oh, no, the, oh, no, 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 it's not. Golly, I, I don't recognize characters from from the remakes. Um, Terra, Cloud, Aerith. <laughs> Aerith, let's see if that'll zoom in. Not Aerith, but Aerith. Uh, Squall, Titus, fuck Titus, man, he's annoying. Uh, Yuna... Van, I have I have no experience with. I don't think I've played 12 at all. And Lightning, she's probably my favorite Final Fantasy character, aside from maybe Tifa. But my liking for Tifa might be a bit more uh, puerile than than plot driven, or <laughs> or it might be very much plot driven if you go for those euphemisms. So all these job classes, the art from these, some nice summons art. Game maps, locations, weapons. So, um, th this is really cool. I do like this. I like how minimalist this cover is, too. Uh, but, I mean, you're going to be able to see this stuff on, on the internet, too. So, now this is an exclusive Game Boy case to this special edition. Uh, if you got the Persona special edition, it had a case that was almost just like this. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to go get my Game Boy. So I picked up my old Game Boy. Um, and and you can see it, it fits in here very, very easily. Uh, I, I have the, the... I get the XLs because I'm, I'm old and blind and can't see shit. So that's... I mean, that fits it very fine. The You got, you know, packs for... for uh, two games and and some other pocket for some other kind of thing that you might want to put in. Um, here's my my new 3DS, so-called new 3DS. Um, it does have a, a case protector on it already, so it's got that extra bulk. Let's see how that fits. Oh, this is this is obviously a tighter fit, but it still closes quite well. So um, if you have a, a case protector on it, um, It'll be a tighter fit, but it should still be fine. I don't know how it'll fit with games and stuff in there. Um, probably probably a bit too tight. When you're someone like me who typically goes all digital, uh, it doesn't really matter, but... Um, you know, I don't know. I always feel like this is a very strange compromise. I mean, you have two packs.
packet, uh, two little pockets for cartridges. If you go digital, you don't need very many, so I guess that's fine. But if you go physical, then you have so many more than that. So, but this does feel kind of nice. It's uh, the design on there. It's of course, you know, just the Final Fantasy logo. Uh, it's not really very raised, but I think it'll probably scratch off after a while. But you know, I mean, th this is still still a fine case. It feels kind of plasticky. Um, like plastic covered foam and and I think it, it it's some decent durability not a lot of crush protection but uh, but you know nothing to worry about so here's the CD and one thing that I did notice uh, in reading about it there's 20 freaking tracks on here uh, I commented about this in in like with every Atlas unboxing and when I unboxed Bloodborne um, this, this is much better how you're supposed to do it. 20 freaking tracks and a very minimalist uh, CD here. So, so cool. Um, but yeah, lots of tracks. I really approve of that. I don't know if these tracks are spoilery named. They're not spoilery named. Good. Um, so yeah, I, I, Squeenix, I appreciate this. I, I like the fact that you put a crap ton tracks on there and and they have some really awesome game music uh nothing on the inside of of the case well actually let's take a look at this bland logo i mean nice art but, but bland nothing really going on there uh the back is just the same as uh no it's different from this back cool cool um but you know if you go into your game stops or whatever you'll be able to see see this uh, here's the manual, which, okay, the inside's garbage, but it's nice that the manual, uh, paper manual, does try to actually have some information about, you know, how to play the game, uh, which is good because although 3DS games have been doing a good job about coming with manuals, uh, digital manuals that, that tell you a bit more, um, generally they're, they're very... Garbage game manuals just just suck in the last couple decades. I mean, I remember when I was a wee tot, not but knee high to a grasshopper. Um, there there was tons of information, you know, for stuff. I mean, I mean they they like have to be spiral bound. There was so much stuff. So I put a, a game cartridge in here, and, and you can't really feel it. So I don't think it'd, it'd provide too much crushing on the screen. Um, but, but I don't know. This is just one cartridge and, and nothing here in the, in the pocket. So, so I don't know, man. Uh, you know, but I, actually, even for me, this, this is overkill. So, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> I have, I have theater them here, in here already. So I'm going to be taking this with me to my game night. I'll probably start uh, playing this uh, with someone else if they've got it already. Um, and you do get the legendary weapons, the quest codes. Uh, if you did happen to see the codes already and tried to freeze frame it, uh, rest assured that I will have already used these codes myself. Um, so, so if I forget to block those out, uh, tough luck. Anyway, this has been the, the Final Fantasy Explorers Collector's Edition. Uh, this box is so sturdy. I mean, this is some thick freaking cardboard. Uh, and, and, wow, I'm actually pretty pleased. Oh, God, where'd the case go? Here's the case. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with what came in this. It was overpriced, but, but if this is half as good as Monster Hunter, and I put half the time that I put into either Monster Hunter, um, I mean, this, that's hundreds of hours of gameplay. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I, I absolutely hope that it will be.